Hey everybody and welcome to another screencast. This is the first one that I've done for a few weeks now. I've been on holiday and I was at a wedding last weekend. Um, so it's been a it's been a few weeks, but um, we're going to get back to it today. So um, I, I'm, today I'm going to build a, a, a testimonial component that we actually uh, that I actually just built just last week for Lemon Squeezy for our login and register pages. We have this um, style uh, page where there's like two halves. One half is a um, the form fields, and it's the same for the you know the register form and all the rest of it. And the other half is like this um, space that we didn't really have anything in before, but we've decided to put some testimonials in here. So we've got this small testimonial component here with an icon and uh, an avatar and a name and that kind of thing. Um, so I figured it'd be cool just to almost like just show how I built this half of this page. Um, as a component really. So um, yeah, so let's just kind of jump in. I'm just going to um, resize that and bring up our component here. So this is what it should look like. This is what we're going to build. Um, and yeah, we're just going to get to it. So um, first things first, I'm just going to quickly um, enable my uncomplete component. So we start with a blank screen. So um, as you saw in the in the previous one, we've got this space where there's um, these kind of big blobs and shapes um, to add a bit of color to the screen. Um, and so what we did with these is these are actually just um, SVGs. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally copy them out of my completed component. Um, so we've got a bunch of them and they're all just absolutely positioned um, in the different corners. So I'm just going to make this div relative. So again, this is all done just using view and uh, Tailwind CSS. Um, so if I save that, I'll go back to the screen. Um, so this is these are these uh, four different shapes. They're different SVGs. And as you can see here, all we're really doing is overriding their position. Um, so one in the bottom right corner, one in the bottom left corner. One in the top left, and oh, two in the top left. That's right, because the top two are layered in the same corner. Um, but there's nothing here yet, um, so I'll give it a refresh, and you can um, begin to see what this looks like. Um, the bottom ones aren't appearing, so I think what I'm going to do is um, just make sure that this div has the height of the screen, so that it's the right height. Um, so you can see the two in the top left, one in the bottom corner, and one in the um, bottom right corner. Um, and the, the last thing this um, background has is a color. Um, and again, I've got these colors configured. These are our brand colors that we use for Lemon Squeezy. Um, and we've got them configured in, a, in my Tailwind config. And um, just adding that. And there we go. There's, there's, our, there's our background, as it were. And just to show you the positioning of these, if I pull this out, you can see how they're absolutely positioned um, based on the, you know, the size and and that kind of thing. So they, they, they do, they're, it's reasonably responsive. Um, so um, yeah, so that's the background, I guess. That's the, the the easy part done. So I guess what we want to do now is add this testimonial um, in the middle here. This is what it should look like. Um, so it's just a kind of reasonably simple box with an icon, some text, and a name and an avatar and all that kind of thing. So. Really what we're going to do is just use a bit of flex um, to, to build this thing. So we're going to use some flex to make sure the box is always centered. And then we're going to use some um, flex for this, like this bit at the bottom as well, just to make sure everything's laid out properly. So um, first things first, let's add um, some flex. So what I'm going to do here actually is um, I'm going to add a new div and um, I'm going to make it um, absolute and inset zero, which means that it just um, anchors to all four uh, corners, top, right, bottom and left. Um, and I'm going to make it a flex box. And the reason I'm going to do that is because we want, we're going to want our testimonial to be completely centered um, in this space. And there's an easy way to do that with flex. You just need two options. One is um, item center and um, uh, tailwind, which is align item center and justify center, which is justify content center. So with those 
two um, options in place, we should see if I just put some content, dummy content in here, we should see that this content is centered and it shouldn't really matter what size we make this, the content should always be in the center of that div. Um, so that's how we are um, going to make sure that our testimonial always stays center on the page. Um, so that's a cool shortcut for Flex. If you're looking to center stuff, it's really easy to do. Um, so the next thing is to actually create this um, testimonial box. Um, oh. So we're going to do a few things here. I guess it's going to be white and it's going to be rounded and it's going to have some shadow, I guess. Um, and it's going to have some padding. I'll, I'll double check what that should be at the moment. Um, and we're going to just put in some text, I guess. Let's just put in some dummy text here just now, um, just to, to give us an idea of what, what we're looking at here. Um, so let me just double check what else we need to do here. Um, so we need to give it a width and some padding. So let's do that. I'll just copy these um, from the completed one. So this means width 39 is it's going to be, we're going to make it a fixed width and give it just some top and bottom padding. Um, and there we go. And, and that's our, our box, the basis of our testimonial. Um, and again, just remember this is all centered. So this should always, um, if I um, pull this down, this should always center no matter what size the page is. Um, so yeah, so that's our that's our box. And in fact, I might just leave that down there just now. Um, yeah, so I guess the next thing is we need to, if we look at the completed one, um, we've got an icon, some text, a name and stuff. So because it's a view component, um, what, what we do or what I did in this case was I passed these testimonials in as props. <clears throat> um, and you know you can do this however you want. We've got them defined in a PHP file and then I pass them in to the front end and pass them in as props. But uh, for the, the sake of this example, we're just going to have a computed prop here. Um, with all the data that we need. So an icon, it's just a URL to an SVG icon, the text uh, of the testimonial, the image, which is the avatar, and then an, a name and a, and a link. Um, so yeah, let's do the do the first one, um, do the first thing first, which is the icon, I guess. So um, I'm just gonna um, create a, um, create this as a, an image. Um, obviously you can embed SVGs directly, but for the sake of ease, um, this is just a URL and we're going to treat it like it's an image. So we're going to do testimonial.icon and um, let's just see if that appears. It does, that's great. Um, we probably need to um, do some um, sizing and different things. So I'm just again going to just see what I did um, just to copy that. So we're going to make sure that it's in a box. <coughs> Um, but it's the right size anyway, so that's fine. Um, and then the next thing is the text. So we can replace this with um, testimonial text. Let's just do oh, testimonial.text. And that should replace the content with our text. Now, this text doesn't look quite right. So I'm gonna put it in a P tag so we can style it. And we're going to um, I think the text looks like it's a wee bit bigger. I'm going to make it text 16. I'm going to guess, is that right? Um, yeah, it is. And we're going to add a, a top margin to it as well. Um, so it's a wee bit down from the icon. There's a bit of space there, so that looks good. Um, now, one thing um, that you'll notice is that, um, or you might not notice, but you will when I do this, is if I put some HTML in here, say, say I put a, an on break space character, um, it'll appear like, you know, it, it's escaped. So it'll appear just as text. It would be the same if we put a, a you know, a, a, an e-link in here, um, an anchor tag. Um, let's just put an anchor tag around this incredible, uh, incredible word. Um, you'll see that it's, you know, all of this content's escaped. Now, obviously this is for good reason, for security purposes, it stops um, cross-site scripting attacks and all sorts. Um, and Vue does this by default, it escapes. HTML, but I'm just going to do this just to demonstrate how you could get around this if, say, your, say the content of this testimonial was sanitized and you'd saved it in your database and you knew it was safe, um, you could output it as HTML. So to do that <coughs> in Vue, Vue has this uh, special directive and it's called VHTML. Um, and so it works like this. You do VHTML equals and then you put your um, content in here instead of just in a, a string tag. Um, so if I save that, you'll notice that 
uh, the HTML is gone, it's no longer, um, the, the break space isn't there, and this actually is a link. Uh, now, although you can't see it because it's not styled, but if I um, if I added like a class, say here, so we could see that it was a link, um, let's say just underline, it should appear or not. Did I spell that right? I did, yeah. Oh, of course, but it'll be getting escaped by, uh, it'll be getting removed by Tailwind. Um, let me just see actually if I can do, does color work? It doesn't, it's, it's probably something to do with Tailwind, but anyway, you get the idea. <clears throat> this is, um, oh, I can prove it's a link by um, showing you the element in here. So if I go into this, look, you can see it's an A tag in there. Um, so this, the styling must be getting stripped by uh, Tailwind, but um, but anyway, that is a link. So anyway, that's just to explain how you can put HTML um, into uh, your content if, if it's held in a variable uh, using the VHTML directive. Um, so that's cool. <clears throat> so the last thing is the avatar and the um, uh, title. So we've got another image. Um, and what did we call this? Testimonial. And then what did we call this? Just image. So we'll put in the image and we'll put in the name. We'll give, maybe give it a title tag or something. Testimonial to the name. And the last thing was a link. Um, and it went to, so we've got this um, testimonial dot and what do we call it? Link URL and link text. So the link URL goes in here and the link text goes there. GitHub Copilot's helping me out a bit. There we go. So that's all the elements that we need for this bit. Um, but obviously it, you know, it doesn't look very good. So let's um, sort that, go, go for our good old handy flex, um, which will help with the layout. Um, but as you can see, this is going to lay everything out in a in a row. Uh, we don't want that. We just want the image and the the rest of the um, content to be in a row. So we're just going to wrap this bit in a div. And um, what's we're going to have to size down this image and make it rounded. So I'm just going to double check what size I put in here. Um, six and six same again. So I'm just going to copy these styles um, and add it to our image. So we're just going to make it a block. Width 6 is 48 pixels and rounded full so that it looks rounded. So there we go, the right size and it's rounded. You probably want to um, add a bit of margin between um, the image, oh sorry, wrong one, between the image and the content. And then the H4 is going to be slightly bigger text and it's going to be a medium weight. I'm just going to copy these classes again. And um, the link is slightly faded. Yeah, it's a it's a kind of slightly different color. So I'm um, just going to add a color to it. There we go. Um, and then the last thing is just to add a bit of padding here. What did I do? Margin top three. Um, so we're just going to add another bit of margin here to space it all out. And uh, and that's it. That's our testimonial component. So this is it in the live page. You can see you know icon. Um, and this is what it should look like. And uh, yeah, this is the one we've just built, same thing. Um, and remember that um, because of what we did before, you know, it shouldn't matter what size this page is, you know, it should always be centered um, regardless of how, you know, big the screen is, the testimonial should remain in the middle. Um, and yeah, and that's, that's it really. So um, there's a quick testimonial um, on our auth pages. So hopefully that's helpful just to um, run you through again how I build these components. If you'd like to see something else or if you'd like to um, see a different format or if you have any ideas of something that you'd specifically like me to, to build or see build, um, then let me know. I've been going with this um, just building components from Lemon, Lemon Squeezy idea um, for the last few of these. But if you'd like me to mix it up or, or to do something different, then be sure to let me know in the comments. But um, otherwise, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, like and subscribe if you want more and uh, yeah, thanks.